one of the longest standing ideas in behavioral science is the von Restorff effect. A 1933 study by a psychologist called Hedwig von Restorff. So she was a German at the University of Berlin at the time. Really simple study, gives people a list of information and she didn't do this, but let's say she read out a list of 10 animals and then there was one item of clothing. Ask people to recall what they can, they'd remember the clothing. Another group of people reads out 10 items of clothing and there's one animal in that list. Everyone remembers the animal. What she argued, among other things, was that we are hardwired to notice what's distinctive. So the argument from von Restorff, and there are plenty of studies since 1933 that prove basically the same point, is that if you create these interchangeable ads, if you create something that just abides by category conventions, you know, the, the soft music, the caring voice, the fake laughter, people are not going to remember it. You're wasting a huge amount of money. What you really want to do is identify your category conventions, and there are loads of them. Stick to the ones that are there for a very good reason, that's fine. But I bet in American financial advertising, there'll be an awful lot of conventions that are just there for tradition's sake. You should identify those, break them, and then you are going to supercharge your ability to be noticed and remembered. And that's probably the most important task, because if you're not remembered, everything else is academic.